Within this video, we're gonna be talking about using the actor palette, which is this little window right here. And what this allows you to do is have a level open basically on the side, and you can click an object in there and then drag it into any other world. So without further ado, let's talk about what it takes to get this set up and how we can use it. And a couple of the things that you may need to know about it that'll help you move forward. So to begin this, all we have to do is actually turn this plugin on. It's already inside the engine, so you don't have to go finding anything. So up here in the top right, you'll find a little section that says settings. Go and just open that up. Instead of here, you'll find a section that says plugins. So go ahead and just click on that. And inside this giant list, it's actually right here at the top for me, this is actor palette. So this bad boy right here. And you can go ahead and search for this up here in the search bar if needed. When you actually activate it, it will let you know that this is in beta and it may not work properly. And also that you'll need to restart the engine to get this to actually work. So once you've actually got it activated and you've restarted the engine, go ahead and come back for the rest of the video. So where do we actually go to get to this actor palette? So all we need to do is actually come up here into tools. And if you come down here just a little bit, you'll find this actor palette. Now you'll notice you can have four of them open. We're just going to use just one. Let's go ahead and click on this. And here we go. Now, sometimes this is a little buggy and a little quirky. Let's see what it actually does. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and click on this choose level right here. You'll notice there is another one up above. So your choice, click on this and it says open level. Which one do I wanna open? Now I already have this one made. So I'll go ahead and click on that. Ah, so this is the little buggy thing that I've noticed happens every now and then. Again, this is in beta, so just be aware. So to get around this for sure, for sure, I can do this. So go up to choose level and go into open level and I'm gonna just choose none, right? So this one right here. So that, that, and then just choose none. That'll unload it, and then I can just go ahead and say choose level, and try and load it again. Haha, -ha, and then it just works. So that is a little quirky thing that you may run into. Seems fine as long as you just reopen it. So how do we use this? So what I would highly suggest doing is just right mouse clicking and dragging inside of this viewport so that the engine knows that you're looking inside of this actual window. Next thing we can do is literally just click on anything, just click on it, left mouse click, and then just drag it over here into the new level, and then just left mouse click again, and it just drops it in there. Now, here's one of the other little quirky things that you may want to kind of think about. If I go ahead and grab this object right here and I bring it in, you will notice that it is considerably smaller. So let's go ahead and move this off here, and I can zoom in on it. And the reason that is, is it's just bringing it in at its default size, right? So one, 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 not the actual size that I scaled it up inside of here. So one of those other little things that you may need to know about that actor palette. So there you have it. That's how you can use the actor palette to bring in stuff from one world into another world without having to go searching for it inside of the content browser. So if you have any other concerns, comments, confusion that you need cleared up so that you can continue to create, just go and just leave a comment down below and I'll get back to you when I can.